Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Hope you're well. You probably watched the uh, video on the other 660, the one that had blown up and we patched back up and fixed. Um, now we're on to the big bore. Um, I'll take note this chain's cut quite a bit of wood. It probably use a touch up. It's a semi chisel, it's hand fouled. Um, kind of a different setup here. Um, it's a long bar, seven pin, um, small hard frozen wood. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. You know, some people get carried away and picky with that stuff, but most of us who really run these things know whether they're going to pull a big bar and big wood or not. Um, most of the ones I've shown, you know, I show them both ways, but anyway let's get this thing warmed up it's not been started today it's only been tuned sitting on the bench in the shop so you know we may have to tune it after a cut or something but let's see what we got
Okay, so I'm pretty sure the last salt we ground, don't get me wrong, this thing was torquey and strong. And you probably notice it got kind of rich, rings are trying to seed, I guess. Um, it'll take several tanks to fully seat, but um, that's typical running one a little bit. Um, if you watch the 200T video, I the 200T, um, if you'll remember, the rings kind of, I guess, seated on camera because it went really rich. Well, after a few cuts with this, it got really, really rich at idle. Um, and that is a deal with the long intake duration. Um, you're going to use a lot of fuel. Um, real finicky to tune, but this one ain't too bad. Maybe in the summer when it's warmer, might be a little different, but where it's cold out, you know, it's gonna want to be fattened up um it'll perform better than it is once it's broke in um but if you remember looking at the cylinder there's a lot of room for improvement um like i said the other saw i'm pretty sure i could put that same bar on it even with the eight pin and in all honestly i think it'll eat it alive and you know i've shown i didn't really do any port work just kind of uh I polished the exhaust port. I took five thou off of the base of it. Um, went in and put a little bit of texture, like a 60 grid on the lowers and uh, the intake port. And I raised the, uh, raised the uppers. Um, not as much as it would need be, but this thing when I pull it back off, I don't know when it'll be, but I'm going to run it some as is. It doesn't run bad. Um, that chain's nowhere near as aggressive as the one on the other saw, and, you know, we're pulling a long bar here, but I did keep the 7 pin on just to kind of even it out and make it fair. And also, this thing, I'd mentioned the muffler last night. Um, I'm running that, just a stock Chinese muffler with the baffle cut out of it. Um, Neither one of the ports are opened up any more than they would have been, so doing a little more to the muffler is going to wake this thing up as well and more than likely make it idle a little better. Um, once it fattened up, it was trying to load up, but I was able to tune it out of it. Um, first cut kind of made it look horrible. It just kind of fell on its face and kind of worried me, but as I went to run on it and it warming up, it cleaned up, but... Um, as you guys seen, there's room for a lot of improvement on that cylinder, so just take note. If you buy one of these highway big bores, and there is saws on eBay, the Hudsel saws with them already installed. Um, take note that it does need a lot of work, um, or you know, the cylinder does. I don't know how it would fire as far as numbers on an OEM set of cases, but... Um, like if you've got a stock 066 or OEM 660 and you think you're going to buy that highway big bore and it run better, um, it may end up running worse. Um, but don't get me wrong, I've run stock 066s. This thing will um, it'll outcut one, I believe. But um, like I said, there's room for improvement. But I'm kind of freezing to death out here. Um, nothing scientific about any of this. It is the same wood we was cutting with a little hot rod home lot. Um, these saws are probably cutting double the speed of that thing, but um, you know, it is what it is. I've worn out 58cc saw versus a new 100cc and a 92cc saw. But anyway, with that said, uh, you guys stay warm, stay safe, and y'all have a good one.